Today, we're talking about another topic in earned value management. When we are done, I will give you a problem to solve, and I'll look forward to you supplying me with the answer so that we can discuss your findings in the next episode. But right away, let's talk about this topic that everyone who gets ready for the PMP exam has heard about on page 267. That's right, page 267. I'm talking about the EACs. Now, you might have watched my video, The Four Phases of EAC. We're going to break down EAC further. EAC means estimate at completion. In other words, how much money would it cost in total by the time we're done to have gotten this project done? In other words, it's a forecast. This is not a plan. It is a forecast based on where you are today and based on what you can see today. What is the future of the project likely to be dollar-wise when all is said and done? So think about it like this. If you have spent $50 to date and you need, in your estimation of things, $600 more to finish the project, then your EAC is $650. What is the difference between this and BAC? Well, BAC is right at the beginning of the project. And this is your total spend projected even before the work has started. This is before any spending. You have not spent a dime at this point. And you might have said, oh, our BAC will be $500. But by the time you go down the road to work on the project, by the time you have gone so far in time, you discover that you are not really targeting to spend this, realistically speaking, anymore. There's no way you can do it because conditions have changed. Conditions have evolved beyond what you predicted at first. So our forecast is what we call our estimate at completion, our forecast of total spend when all is said and done. So to cut the long story short, there are four formulas. The first formula is the one I showed you just now. Your estimate at completion is equal to your actual cost plus your estimate to complete where this is a bottom up brand new estimate. In other words, this remaining money we're looking at, it is based on a brand new estimate. The project manager has decided there's no way I can meet the budget. So let me come clean and just do a brand new bottom up estimate for the remaining work. Now this formula begins to morph bit by bit because in the next formula, we base our EAC on the budget being intact. And that's how we have BAC minus earned value. Think about it. If your budget is still intact, you can subtract the work done to find out the work left. In other words, this is really an ETC. This whole thing here is really ETC, BAC minus EV is ETC based on the remaining work being performed as budgeted. In other words, your budget still makes sense. It is intact. And any variances that you have experienced, you will not experience further on the project. Now, this morphs again into our next formula for EAC, which is really the same thing with the right-hand side divided by CPI. However, you do not see this in the PMBOK guide. This entire thing, if broken down, can be expressed as BAC divided by CPI. That is what all of this becomes. And I've shown this in a few videos. The bottom line is, Dividing by CPI here is really like saying divided by EV over AC. So EVs cancel and ACs cancel if you solve it down. And at the end of the day, you are left with this. Use this when you expect the future 
to be based on the current cost performance. Now, in the same token, this is morphed into this, BAC minus EV, and all of that divided by CPI times SPI. Bear in mind, whenever we're talking about EAC, we're talking about cumulative values for SPI and CPI. I usually go as far as putting a superscript of C on top of these, just so I don't forget, and my students don't forget. And that used to be the case in the PMBOK guide, but they took that out, and people sometimes get mixed up. Which CPI? Is it CPI current for month one, or is it CPI current for month 10, or is it cumulative CPI? The answer is cumulative CPI. And those are your four EACs. Get those down pat, and then, my friends, you will be able to tackle my next problem for you in PMBOK Gold. So once you're done understanding all of these four EAC types, remember there are four formulas, four EACs. There's a formula based on the budgeted rate. There is a formula based on the current cumulative CPI. There's a formula based on both the CPI and the SPI. And last but not least, there's a formula based on what I call a brand new bottom-up ETC. These are on page 267. Get it down pat, and then let's roll with the next question I have for you. Here is the question. You're a project manager managing a project to tar a 10-mile road in the outskirts of Gilbert, Arizona during the monsoon season. Your estimate reveals a projected spend of $500 every day for labor, $250 daily for equipment, and $250 per day for materials, food, and other expenses. This is a 10-day project to tar one mile of the road each day. Budget expenditure is predicted to be uniform daily. If at the end of day five, the actual cost is found to have been $1,200 for each project day from inception to date, and you have tarred three miles of the road, what is the estimate at completion based on a new daily rate for all costs of $1,750 per day? I look forward to getting this answer from you. Remember, it is going to boil down to one of the formulas that I have just covered. When you get done, put your answers below. The very first correct question is going to receive a short 30-minute MP3 from me to prepare for their PMP exam. And if that is you, I'll be contacting you. I look forward to your answers. Put your answers below, and let's see who comes up with the answer first. See you tomorrow.